Pernilla is a great player that came out of our college program. Uh, she went to Oklahoma State and she's been out here for about six years now. Um, came to the Symmetra Tour as well and one of the things that stood out uh, from the very beginning was her loyalty and just how well she continued with her ping product from college all the way through into a professional career. I got my first uh, set of ping irons when I was a freshman in high school in Sweden and uh, ever since then I've been playing ping clubs. Uh, so Pernilla's driver is actually a G25 model, it's not our most current G30. We've worked hard on getting her into something that's new but with her golf swing and what she and her team are working on, G25 just sets up better for her. Um, she works really hard with trying to get on top of the ball and it's been evident in her irons and her ball striking which has improved every season. Her fairy woods and hybrid, we've got a little bit of a mixture of things. Uh, last year we did a hybrid with Pernilla and as she started to cover the ball more, we moved away from a hybrid into a seven wood. So actually the seven wood, uh, I put that in my bag leading up to US Open at Pinehurst last year because I, I never really felt like I get enough height out of uh, hybrid clubs. Uh, even though I, I tend to hit my long irons nice and high, but never got the same kind of ball flight out of hybrids. And coming into Pinehurst, I figured it was going to be small greens that were firm. So I wanted to have something that came in with a higher trajectory. And I put that seven wood in the bag just for that week, but it actually worked out so good that I still have it in my bag. And then I play four wood and that was, uh, it just seemed to be the same thing. I didn't really get enough height out of a three wood, especially from the fairway. Uh, so I switched to a four wood and uh, I'm getting the same distance out of it as a three wood, but just with a little higher ball flight. Um, going into her iron, she moves seamlessly from an I-20 iron to an I-25 iron, uh, which is more of a mid-sized golf club. We wouldn't call it a player's club and it's not a game improvement club. In fact, it's the number one iron model that we have on the LPGA Tour is the I-25. So she uses that from a four iron to a pitching wedge. And this off season, we just launched a new wedge called the Glide. And with Pernilla, it took to her right away. It matched everything she was doing with her coaches, around the greens, her chipping styles, her chipping techniques from the bumpers and uh, bump and runs. Everything just matched up well for her. So this year, or this past off season, I switched uh, my wedges. I've always played a pitching wedge of 52, 56, and 60 degree, but this off season I switched to 50, 54, and 58. It just filled in my gaps a lot better. I had a little too big of a gap between my pitching wedge and 52 before. So now that 50, I'm just getting that little extra yardage out of it. And I was a little worried that the 58 might not be enough loft since I was used to a 60, but it's actually been working out really good. The other change we made this off season was into her putter. She used a belly putter when she was in college when she first came onto the professional scene. She used it for almost four years on the LPGA. Then we moved into more of a conventional length putter and lastly, we moved into our Cadence Rustler line. The Cadence gives you an option of a heavy, heavy head and a lighter weight head. We went back and forth with Pernilla. Her tempo falls right between the fast and the slow. And we went to a lighter weight Cadence Rustler putter with her and it's been in her bag since the beginning of the season. She's loved it. Hi, this is Tip Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more content on all things LPGA related, check out the new I'm going again. I'm just going to keep going. Yep. For more content on all things LPGA, yeah. check out the new LPGA.com. Yeah. I don't understand. Why is that so difficult? Hi, this is Tip Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For all... <laughs> for more content on all things LPGA, check out the new LPGA.com. <laughs>